Hey folks, ah, it's a little windy, but it's always windy it seems like now, but I wanted to get out and do some sea trials with the paddleboard that I built last summer and show you how the thing works. So, first thing we're going to do is get in the water and put the fin on. So I opted for the the removable fin so that we can take it off for transporting and it just latches into place so that'll stay put okay now Normally it wouldn't go out on a day as windy as this, but we just take what we're going to get here. So I just want to show you how stable this thing is. I'm out here with a microphone on, and I wouldn't do this if I thought there was a chance that I was going to capsize, even in these winds. get too fancy here today and show you how stable this thing is where I can get up on the sides and such since it's so windy and I don't want to go in the water with my microphone but you get the idea this is a very stable 34 inch wide 10 feet long stand-up paddleboard weighs in about 46 48 pounds or so you know, this isn't your your made in China blow up one that you can tuck under your arm, but it's also not one that's going to end up in the landfill in a decade or less. So this thing will last you a lifetime or generations if you take care of it. I got a book that I wrote over the winter on how to build this stand up paddle board. Pretty simple. Once I get up to shore here, I'll show you the book. This design has a center handle for, for carrying it, and then a bow handle, and then I have the cord in the front in the bow for, you know, for stowing a, a life jacket and such. And then I opted for these in the back. And now if a person wanted to carry a cooler or something, use it as a fishing paddle board which is what I intend to do just haven't gotten around to it yet but you can do you know you can use stick a box that has your phone in it or something and then for a paddle I just got one of these online one of these two piece that are adjustable so you can adjust the height on it and stuff they, they work really well. We have two of them because I build two stand-up paddle boards. But this is my second one. First prototype was a little bit too heavy. So again, the fin is removable and slides right into this base. But you can get these online. They're pretty inexpensive and then there's a little a little latch in there that keeps it so you don't lose the thing when you're underway. So it's all it's all in this book. Walking on water, a simple guide to building your own stand-up paddleboard. And in it are detailed photographs and instructions, complete diagrams for how to build it. It's basically foam board core with some thin plywood ribs in the center, skinned with four millimeter okume, and then coated with six ounce fiberglass cloth and epoxy resin. Might sound complicated, but it's really pretty fun and simple to build. It's all in the book, available on Amazon. I'll have a link down below how to get it so you can get on the water. So 
So until next time, it's Mark again with Backwood Basics. Let's roll together.